Hey, Jalen, when you look at these guys on defense, uh, what really kind of jumps off the tape to you? Uh, they run everything. Uh, they're going to throw a lot of different looks at you, a lot of different pressures. Uh, they're going to mess with you, eye, eye violations. Uh, linebackers are going to act like they're running out, then come late on the blitz. Uh, just a very, we do a lot on offense, they do a lot on defense. So we just got to be, everyone's got to be, uh, you know, eyes uh, where they need to be, uh, no eye violations. And um, running backs, we just got to be patient on getting out uh, from protections, you know, because they, they come in with the corner cat, they come in, they bring in multiple guys. So uh, we just got to uh, stay on key and make sure we keep uh, DC clean. And Jalen, you talked about how, how everything is so much different. Does it? Is it amazing to think there's only four people left on your roster from that game in 2016? And and even though that was week one, you guys kind of identified yourself that game as yeah. being something special. Is that opportunity here for you Monday night? Uh, I believe that same opportunity definitely is here. Uh, again, they're a great team, a team that's been playing together for a while, a great quarterback, and obviously a coach that's been there for a while. and. Gruden uh, highly respects him and the coach that he is. So uh, we definitely feel like a, a win here would definitely give us the confidence uh, and the jump start we need to continue uh, on our mission to, uh, you know, to make it to the Super Bowl. Hey, Jalen, this is Vic. Um, have you been giving uh, some right running tips to uh, Josh Jacobs? And how's he doing as far as um, the process and getting better at that? Well, yeah, he always, um, I, I'll say this, like Josh always had the skill to run the uh, choice route, but uh, he definitely, that was something he worked on um, in the off season. He obviously uh, watches uh, when I run the option route and then having Theo in as well, uh, who, who I, I learned, learned and took a lot of my tips from, uh, a guy that uh, coached um, back when um, Gruden was, you know, telling me he wanted me to run the choice route, had gave me film on like Theo, gave me film on um, Darren Sproles. So to have Theo in the building as well, uh, it's just, you know, Josh is just taking everything in and um, he's showing his ability out there on the choice route. He can he can definitely run it at a high level. Yeah, the Willie Ramirez with the Las Vegas Associated Press. Uh, Coach Gunther had said it, uh, playing and having the games with no fans reminded him of like a, a JV football game. Mo had said it sort of takes you back when there are no fans on pick up games in the park, you're doing it for the love of the game. Does it sort of remind you where you're just getting a group of friends together, Thanksgiving morning turkey ball, just on the weekend, got the quarterback drawing out plays on his chest with the finger. Just, yeah. is it, does it take you back where you kind of find the passion for it with no fans to, to rev you up? No, definitely. We gotta. We are out there. We gotta be our own cheerleaders, basically. You know, uh, it's a little eerie because it's a little weird. You know, you, you haven't, like you said, you haven't. We haven't played with really no fans since way, way back. So uh, to you know to not have fans, um, we able to communicate a lot better. I've been telling a lot of people a lot more. To me, a lot better football will be going on right now. A lot of man on man. The defense can communicate better. The offenses can communicate better. And uh, guys will just have to make plays uh, when the opportunity presents itself. But uh, we definitely out there trying to cheer each other on and keep the energy level high. Uh, we don't have any fans to feed off of. And when you score, it's not like the whole crowd is going wild. It's just us and teammates. So uh, to me, I feel like this season to bring a lot of teams closer. Um, we out there, you know, again, just cheering for each other, talking a lot more, trying to rev each other up. And um, it's definitely bringing us together. Hey, Jalen, Paul Gutierrez here. Uh, to echo back on what, what Jerry McDonald asked you earlier, is, how mind-blowing is it for you? It, it was only four years ago, but there's only four guys left on this roster yeah. from that season debut, your your NFL debut back in 2016 in New Orleans. Uh, when I look around, it just it just allows me to not take this for granted. Um, I understand that in this league is a revolving door, and um, you know every year they want to see improvement, they want to see production. Um, and if you're not doing those things, you won't be around long. So. Uh, I've just been blessed, you know, again, to be on one team for five years, but again, to be uh, on this team, which, like you said, uh, there's only four of us left from that 2016 team. So uh, I just don't take it for granted. Um, I enjoy what I do. I come in every day and just work. And um, I know those other four guys, they do the same, but that's just what I just spread to the guys coming in that uh, you never know, man. I've seen guys come in one day and be gone in the next two or come in one week and then two weeks later are, are, are out of the door. So uh, you just can't take this thing for granted. And I just go out there and just play every play, every play hard. Hi, Jalen, Leo, Damian, USA Today. Uh, you, guys, you just mentioned a moment ago you were helping, Jay, um, you were helping Josh Jacobs with his 
route running and stuff like that. And he said the, well, the main reason why he wants to improve on that so much is he doesn't want to leave the field. So how is it, how do you make sure that uh, when he's trying to get more snaps that you get your snaps too? Uh, I mean, you know, Josh the bell cow, Josh the guy. Uh, and he could do everything. So it's not going to do anything but help our, help our team by him expanding what he can do and we're not predictable when he's out there on the field or even when I'm out there on the field. So, uh, I mean, the way it is now, you know, it's a long season and a lot of backs can't really do it by themselves. So I feel like, you know, it's still running back by committee, but definitely Josh is the bell cow. And again, by him expanding his role like that, he'll be able to, you know, again, like he said, not really come off the field as much, but uh, you know, I'm going to keep working hard and do what I do. And um, when, when the team asks for my number to be called, I just got to be ready. All right. Thanks, Jalen. All good. Thank you all.